Hello internet world, I've got a different sort of video for you today. Now, if you've watched my videos for a long time, you'll have seen some of these in my videos before. And if you're eagle-eyed enough, you'll have seen behind me here, I have lamps dotted around everywhere. There's a few things I really like in the technology sector. Uh, one of them is smart home technology and sort of in cooperation with that or in combination I should say with that is lighting. I love smart home lighting. Now these aren't smart lights by any means but you can add smart bulbs to them and they transform the way they look and even straight out of the box which is what I'm going to show you now uh, these lamps from Tomons uh, are absolutely fantastic. I really love the design of them. They're nice and clean, crisp lines, really well designed, really well manufactured, super easy to put together. You just have to put a few sort of little nuts and bolts in and uh, they're up and running. And it, I just love the design of them. Now, if you do like either of the two lamps I've got here, then I've left a link down in the video description to where you can pick them up for yourself. Uh, they are affiliate links. They are a mere little bit of commission. They don't cost you a penny extra. If you like the lamps behind me here as well and you want to grab the model codes for those then please do take a look at the Innertech website. Their uh, link is also in the video description. And Innertech very kindly sent me out these so I could do the video. Uh, all of the opinions expressed within this video are indeed my own. I haven't been asked to say any particular thing. I just love the lamps. I really do. Uh, big hello to Russ B. Good morning to you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, live Russ, I really do appreciate it. If you're watching live, you can use the live chat. If you're watching after the live broadcast, you can use the regular comment section below. Let's take a look at the first one. This is the DL1005, which is this angle poise lamp. Before I turn this on, let's just pick this up. It's got a really nice cord on it for a start, and the cord has got like this rocker switch to turn the lamp on and off sturdy metal base so this is like metal and it's got a, a felt material on the bottom so it's not going to scratch the surface you put it on and then into this is this solid wood solid wood coming up here and then we've got all of these various um, uh, sort of connections and places where we can actually adjust the angle of the lamp and I'll show you that in action very shortly and then we've got the main head of the lamp which is made of metal and you do get a little LED bulb supplied inside the box as well. To put this up, you don't have to assemble it all. It's not like flat pack furniture. It came pretty much all assembled just with this swing arm placed down. And you just raise the swing arm and put this sort of a bolt with the wing nuts in and the washers in the appropriate place with the head in the middle and then it's ready to go. And uh, you can loosen these off one at a time. I would suggest doing that rather than them all together so we can loosen this one off for example and then we can adjust the angle of the head so you can adjust this up and down and then when you've got it into the appropriate position you can simply tighten these up so it's back into position and then these ones are a little bit more tricky uh, but if we just loosen off this bottom one for example like so then this bottom one allows us to, and if, if we loosen the top one at the same time a little tiny bit, it will allow us to adjust the angle downwards without this top one moving. And then we can re-tighten that one up. So you can get the perfect angle that you want just by loosening off these very carefully and then readjusting them. And then the actual light that they output, uh, you can see my little figure over here. Let's just give him a spotlight and it just lights it up perfectly. It's a really nice light as well. Nice sort of uh, warm light uh, supplied with this one. The bulb is like a warm color. And it gives out a nice amount of light, perfect reading, perfect for that desk lamp. Uh, and I just love the design. It's a very, very cool design. Look at that. They are available in different colors as well. Uh, this one happens to be white. So we'll put that one back down. So fully adjustable, really solidly made, absolutely love it. Really very, very cool. 
Now the other one, this is, if I get the model number for you, you don't have to remember these model numbers because they are linked to down in the video description. This is the BL1001, a much simpler table lamp. This would be, I would say, more designed for going on like a bedside table or maybe you've got a, a sideboard and you want a couple of these, one at either end of the sideboard. Uh, still can be used as a reading lamp as well. Uh, this is a white base, as you can see, again, available in different colours. And then we've got this wooden stem coming up the middle. And then a very simple, quite small uh, sort of lampshade, which you, when you get this out of the box, you do have to just attach the lampshade and obviously put in the bulb. Again, you get a little LED bulb supplied. Cable exits out the back. And then we've got the little rocker switch built into the cable. And then we turn this on. And again, what a nice amount of light. This is more of a cooler white on this one, and it just is absolutely superb. Very, very nice indeed. It's making me go dark because my camera's re-exposing for how bright this bulb is. If we place this off camera, sort of down here, then it just illuminates me. It's just a really nice, uh, softer light on this one, but as I say, still good enough, definitely, for reading. And a nice, solid uh, base as well. Not too heavy, but heavy enough, obviously, to support the lamp. Really nice looking. Very, very cool indeed. Now, I dot lamps. I like lighting. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. And I dot little lamps everywhere. All through the house, through the various rooms in my uh, business, in the editing room, the studio, up on my shelf here. I dot them about everywhere. Uh, not all of them are plugged in. These two aren't plugged in at the moment. Uh, but certainly on sideboards and things like that, they look absolutely superb. And this one, uh, although you haven't seen my complete reorganisation of the uh, editing room at the moment, this would be ideal just to the right-hand side of this monitor here. Uh, so that if I'm working late, I can just have some illumination on the desk and not necessarily have the main lights on uh, in here. Uh, when you do videos, just to give you a little bit of background on me, when you do videos all the time and you're blasted with studio lights all the time, and th these studio lights at the moment are very, very bright, uh, sometimes it's nice just to have some subdued lighting in the evening. Helps you wind down, uh, but you still need a little bit of light to read a book or do something. And, and these provide that really nice sort of focus light, especially this one. It's a real focused light and really does look the part. I think. Uh, Inertech, who manufacture these, this is their Tomons brand, do a fantastic job. And uh, I can really highly recommend them, I love them. Check out these on the Inertech website, check out the links to these down in the video description. If you've got any comments at all, leave them in the comment section, and I'll see you in another video very soon.